What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video unboxing of the Lenovo Yoga Tablet 8 and Yoga Tablet 10. Tablets happen to be the most popular device in the electronics world today, and virtually every single company has their own take on the form factor and features of these popular devices. Of course, Lenovo happens to be no stranger to tablets. They have everything from consumer to business slates, and they actually decided to refine and redefine the way that tablets are used with the Yoga Tablet 8 and the Yoga Tablet 10 at a recent press conference. Now, we just got these two devices into the office, and we thought we'd open them up and show you exactly what you can expect whenever you order one from Lenovo.com or you pick one up at your nearest retailer in the near future. Now, of course, one of the things right here that we have is the uh, Yoga Tablet 8 in the smaller box and the Tablet 10 right here. We also have within this box uh, two of the carrying folios, uh, very similar to those that you might find with some of the Apple products, but we're going to get back to these in a very uh, short amount of time. Uh, one of the things that I want to point out just by uh, unboxing the two of them are the kind of differences as well. And uh, as you can see right here, we have the Tablet 8, the Tablet 10, very thin, very light devices, and we'll get into some of the internal specs of these right after I go through some of the other items of the box itself. Uh, so basically right here, on, under this flap, you have the uh, the power adapter for the, uh, for the yoga. You also have a data cable, and uh, you also get, you know, quick start guide, legal information, stuff like that inserted within each box. It's basically the exact same on this side as well for the Yoga 10. Now, one thing that's really, really notable, especially about the Yoga devices, is that uh, they're really designed in many ways to kind of combat one of the main problems that you happen to have with a lot of tablets. And I'll really be able to show this off in some ways on the 8, although it's basically the same on the 10. Now, one of the biggest issues that a lot of tablet owners happen to have is the weight of the device itself, especially if you happen to be using it for a long period of time. Whether you're playing games, watching movies, browsing the web, you start to find that holding the tablet in your hands becomes very, very heavy after a period of time, even though the device only weighs anywhere between one and one and a half pounds. Now, part of that is simply because of the amount of weight of the internal components, from the battery to the memory to other items that happens to make up your particular slot. Well, Lenovo tried to fix that by shifting the center of gravity over to the left-hand side and essentially housing it primarily where you happen to have the battery. By naturally wrapping your fingers around that, you actually can hold onto it with a more stable grip, but it also manages to make the rest of the device a lot thinner and a lot lighter so you can hold it for a longer period of time. Now, what also makes that a little bit notable is that the shifting over actually manages to give you a little bit extra uh, space to pack in larger batteries in some ways. So uh, the Tablet 8 has a 6,000 milliamp battery. The Tablet 10 has a 9,000 milliamp battery. Now that's notable because that actually boosts the life of, the, uh, of both tablets significantly. You actually wind up eclipsing many of the benchmarks set by other tablets, such as the Apple iPad, with its normally touted 10 hours of battery life. For instance, with the Yoga 8, you wind up getting up to 21 hours of battery life if you happen to be reading ebooks, for instance, up to 14 and a half hours of battery life if you happen to be watching HD movies, and up to uh, 13 hours of life if you happen to be doing some intensive web browsing, especially based off of the, uh, the video content and the amount of images that you happen to be downloading and displaying on the screen. So that's also a, a really interesting fact that winds up distinguishing these two devices from a lot of the other slates that happen to be on the market. But you also get uh, the ability to basically charge other devices through this uh, micro USB slot right here. So you can use the battery for the tablets to even recharge your phone or other devices that you happen to have with you. Not a lot of slates can really claim that on the go functionality. Another thing that helps the Yoga Tablet 8 and Tablet 10 stand out from its competition is that it actually calls back the Yoga Ultrabook multimodal functions that made that lineup of Ultrabooks so popular. In fact, the Tablet 8 and Tablet 10 have three separate modes to help consumers actually get into uh, interacting with their content. The first one is what they call hold mode, which is basically just grabbing onto the grip, as I previously mentioned, and watching your content in portrait mode. Now, you can also pull 
out the included stand right here in the base and stand it up to look at your content, watch movies, play games, what have you. You can also tilt the device in what they call tilt mode and get your work done on on-screen keyboards or simply look at your content this way. Very, very easy and obviously still allows consumers to basically choose what they want uh, the device to be in at any point in time. Now, the form factor between the Tablet 8 and the Tablet 10 are virtually identical, so I'll get into the internal specs of both devices right after you take a really quick spin around the external shell of this Tablet 8. So right here on the front you have your twin uh, front-facing speakers. Now a lot of tablets really aren't known for having great sound, but the Yoga Tablet 8 and Tablet 10 both feature Dolby Digital Plus DS1 sound for the audio presentation. And from what I've heard, it actually sounds really, really nice. We're definitely interested in testing out the full range of these speakers in the near future and we'll have that information for you in the video review. You also have a front-facing 1.6 megapixel camera to counter the rear-facing 5 megapixel camera on both devices. And you have a 8-inch and a 10.1-inch display, both with a native resolution of 1280 by 800. Now, just to uh, spin over here, you have your headphone microphone combo port. You also have your uh, volume controls right there. And uh, that's about it on that side. On this other side, you have that micro USB port for the on-the-go uh, charging that I mentioned earlier, as well as a rather large power button. Really, really hard not to miss that. Finally, on the rear of the tablet, underneath the stand, you have your micro SD card slot. The Yoga Tablet 8 and the Yoga Tablet 10 both come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but that can be expanded up to 64 gigabytes via micro SD card. The Yoga Tablet 8 and Tablet 10 are powered by an ARM MTK quad-core processor running at 1.2 gigahertz with one gigabyte of RAM. As I just mentioned, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable up to 64. And uh, again, the native resolution of the screen, both the 8 and the 10.1, is 1280 by 800. So that's a very quick look at the Yoga Tablet 8 and the Yoga Tablet 10. The only other item obviously within the box is the uh, sleeve and the film for both devices. Right here I have the uh, Tablet 8 sleeve which you could easily uh, slide in and protect the device. <laughs> Uh, right here. There's also an optional uh, sleeve that comes with a keyboard so you can get your work done simply by sliding it in and protecting the tablet that way. It also comes with a, uh, a cleaning cloth and screen wipe for your, for your particular slate as well. So that's a really quick look at Lenovo's upcoming uh, yoga line, the Yoga Tablet 8, Tablet 10, and the protective sleeves. Be sure to come back to our website in the upcoming weeks where we'll have a full review of these two particular tablets. For the latest coupons and deals on tablets like the Yoga Tablet 8 or Tablet 10, be sure to check out techbargains.com slash Lenovo. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.